Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Okay, Sioux Falls physics teachers are here. We're going to be looking at, in this problem, electric fields and superposition. Uh, we want to determine the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the origin um, in the situation that are given below for the two charges, Q1 and Q2. Note that both those charges have a plus 5 Coulomb uh, charge on them, but they are not at the same distance from the origin. Uh, we're going to need to figure out the electric field then for each of those charges and then look at what the resultant charge or the resultant electric field would be from those charges. Okay, so let's start with Q1 here. Uh, electric field for Q1, we can figure that out by combining again our two equations for uh, electric force and for electric field. And so the electric field is so it's going to be equal to our constant Ke times that charge um, divided by the distance squared. All right, so plugging that in for charge 1, Ke again is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th. That's our constant. Uh, charge given there is a positive 5. Coulomb charge and the distance from the origin, remember it is the origin we're interested in, is given as 4 meters. And we do need to square that. So calculating that out for charge number 1, we get an electric field of 2.8 times 10 to the 9th newtons per coulomb. Okay, now we need to perform the same calculation for our second charge for Q2. So electric field for charge 2 is again going to be our constant K sub E, 9 times 10 to the 9th. Uh, charge is still a positive 5 Coulomb charge. Only thing that's different now is our distance is at 5 meters. So 5 meters squared. And when we calculate that electric field, we end up with 1.8 times 10 to the 9th newtons per coulomb. Okay, now that we have those two electric fields calculated, we need to figure out what the resultant electric field will be. Since both of these are positive charges, we know that they will repel each other. So we could essentially think of the electric fields being extended in the following fashions here. Okay. And so our resultant is essentially going to be the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So we're just going to do a little Pythagorean theorem here with our two electric fields to solve for this. So our resultant electric field is going to be the square root of those two fields added together squared. So 2.8 times 10 to the 9th plus 1.8 times 10 to the 9th squared. And then we'll uh, square both of those terms, add them together, take the square root of that. Our resultant electric field that we end up with is equal to 3.34 times 10 to the 9th newtons per coulomb and again the direction on that would be away from those positive charges. 